What's up guys, this is Ty, the Asian Wonder, your online personal trainer. In this video, I wanna answer a very common question that everybody always asks me when I'm at the gym, is how many sets should I do? Now, if you're a beginner, right, you shouldn't have to do more than four, five, six sets, right? Six sets is probably the most that you have to do. The reason why is because you haven't learned how to fully control and contract your muscles yet, right? So, for example, since I've been working out for 18 years now, I know how to flex my muscles completely and 100%. It's not random, okay? So when you're a beginner, you're only probably flexing about 20, 30, maybe even 50% of your muscles, and that's it. There's still a bunch of fibers that haven't been recruited and haven't flexed yet. That's why you need to do those extra sets. But I don't recommend more than six sets per muscle. Uh, and that's like for the big muscles, such as your back, your chest, your legs, your hamstring, your butt, any of those, you shouldn't do more than six sets. Now, however, if you're working out the smaller muscle groups, such as your arms, your biceps, your triceps, or your neck muscles, or anything like that, I only recommend that you do at most like four or five sets. So for myself personally, when, you, when I get to the advanced levels, I only do like two to three sets. Now some of you guys might think that's crazy because when you go to the gyms, you always see everybody doing like 20 or 30 sets per muscle group. That's only because these guys are on steroids. If they're not on steroids, they would never be able to do those sets like that and recover from them, okay? Now you may be a high school teenager uh, at home and you're listening to this and you say, hey, I can do 10 sets and it doesn't matter to me, right? The goal is not to do as many sets as you guys can, okay? The goal is to just do just enough amount of sets to activate the muscles and to uh, ignite it and to initiate muscle growth. Once you initiate it, the muscles actually grow when you're resting and you're eating, not when you're lifting weights, right? So right now, if you're a beginner and you've never worked out before or you haven't worked out in more than three to six months, I would recommend that you do no more than five at max, at max, six sets per muscle group. After that, when you've been training for about three to six months, drop it down to about four sets, right? If, uh, per muscle group and then after you've been training for like 12 months I would drop it down to about three sets per muscle group uh, for myself personally because I'm able to contract my muscles completely when I'm training I only do at most two sets or at max three sets so for example when I train my thighs or my back when I do squats I'll do like two to three sets depending on how I feel that day and when I do deadlifts I'm doing it with like four or five hundred pounds, so I'm only doing two or three sets as well. So as you can see, when I'm training with the bigger muscle groups and I'm doing a lot more amount of weight, then I don't have to do as many sets, okay? So just keep that in mind, guys. I don't recommend doing too many sets. If you're in doubt, I would do less sets instead of doing more because overtraining is the number one mistake that people make at the gym. And it's better to be undertrained and grow muscles than to be overtrained and get your body into a catabolic state and actually get yourself to lose muscle. All right? So be careful about that, guys. And I hope that answers your question because I get that comment a lot and everybody's emailing me about that. So I hope that answers everyone's questions about how many sets that you need to do. Thanks.